Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you this advanced traffic light system where we control the traffic as you can see. We will be using as well the path calculation system, link is in the description. As well we will be using the simple traffic system from the last tutorial as you can see. Great. So let's go. First of all let's set up the traffic light itself. For this I prepared three materials as you can see, green, red and yellow. Let's take a look, very simple, we have a base color, we have a parameter, a scalar parameter with one and a multiplier where we set it to the immersive color so that we have a glowing effect here. Of course we do this for red and yellow as well. Then I created a blueprint actor, so right click, blueprint class actor. Let's open up the traffic light, inside the traffic light as you can see we have the static mesh, of course link is in the description. As well, I placed some fear elements here inside the traffic lights. Of course, we have red, yellow and green for every traffic light. So let's select everything here, go to the details and search for visible. And uncheck everything here except for the red. Let's say every traffic light starts red like this one as well as you can see I just assigned the materials here. So let's compile and save this as well. We need a variable called red as in boolean and we check this to true. Let's go to the event graph because we need some functions here. Let's start up with the add custom event. This is called switch. We need the branch to ask. Take out the red boolean here. Then we take out every red up here and every green down here. And then we go from the red here and set the visibility on true to nothing. So no visibility. Of course, we connect every red here. We can copy and paste this down here, connect every green. Then we take out every yellow here, place it in the middle. Again we need the visibility here, connect it, connect the yellow in both situations and make this visible. Then we need a little delay. I would recommend two seconds. This is the time that yellow is active. Then again we need to set the visibility of yellow to false again like that. So we connect again the yellow and at the end we select the green again, put it right here, the red down here and want to set the visibility again like that. Down here to visible as well up here for green. And then we want to set the boolean up here to false, down here to True. Let's go back to the viewport because I add up this box collision here as you can see as a trigger so that the car will be recognized. So let's go down here and we need an event tick. We take out the trigger, so the box collision and say get overlapping actors. And let's put our, in my case, the AI car, of course, whatever you named your car. I would highly recommend to create one car as a parent and then create child classes out of it. So then in this case you get every car that passes the traffic light directly with this class filter here. Then we take taken for each loop with the array here. We cars to our car, the parent car, in my case the AI car. And then we just want to set a boolean. So let's open up our parent car here where we have our basic functions from the last tutorials. The getPath function, the steering 
the control speed and the simple traffic system where we have the box collision to stop to avoid collisions. We need another variable called traffic order. That's a boolean. We can keep it like this one and we put it right here. Then we simply need an or boolean here. Connect this one to the branch. So when we have a traffic order, we will stop or we have a collision, then we stop as well. Compile and save this. We can close this one, go back to our traffic light. Then we can go from the AI car or parent car and want to set this traffic order boolean, of course, to the red boolean like that. So if it's red, we have a traffic order. If it's green, we don't have a traffic order. Great. Oh, sorry, we need to set this to false, of course. Compile and save this. So now we can close this, go back to our level and place the traffic lights inside the world. Now we need something to control which traffic class goes to green in which order. For this, let's go right click, group and class, actor, and let's call this traffic underscore controller. Open this up. This gets one component and box collision here. Then we go to the event graph and can delete everything inside here. Let's start up with the event begin play. Then we need to get overlapping actors again. Set the class filter, of course, to our traffic light actor. Then we need a new variable called index. This is an integer. We put the index right here. Then we get a copy of the overlapping actors, connect the index. Then we cars to the traffic light actor like that. Then we call the switch function that we created, so our custom event. We need a little delay of let's say five seconds. Again, we call the switch function. After five seconds, we switch back to red. So first of all, we will switch to green, then to red. We take out our index again. From the index, we say plus plus, like this one. So we add up just one to the index. Then we go from the overlapping actors back to here and get the length. We need an equal, compare it with the length. Of course, we need a branch to ask. And at the end, we want to set the index again to zero. If not, we go back to the cars tier. Let's place this a little bit up here and connect this one as well, like that. Great, let's see if this works. We hit compile, save, place the traffic controller inside the world. Let's go to the top view here, make this much bigger like that, so that we include all traffic lights like this one. And when we now hit play, the cars are driving up to the traffic lights, stopping. The first traffic light goes to green, as you can see. The cars continue driving. Now the second goes to green. After five seconds, the third one. And at the end, the last one. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.